Hello friends, it's time for us to set up our math notebook. So this is how it's going to work. You have sticky notes inside of your bag that you picked up at open house that you can do this with. I cut them in half or a little bit less and I made these little tabs and we're going to go and put the tabs on as we go so you don't have to do them all. But this is how it's going to look like. You're going to have tabs, kind of like tab dividers, up at the top and we're gonna have them down the side by the end of the year. So the only thing that you need to do right now is you have a tag that says geometry. G-E-O-M-E-T-R-Y, geometry. We're going to be doing that first. So I'm going to write on the front, geometry. Also, don't forget in your notebook, on your notebook to write that this is your math notebook. And the 100 pages ones work the best, just so we have enough. So I'm writing G, geometry. And this is going to be topic 16. We're actually going to be starting with the last topic in your book. So you're going to be wanting to work in volume two to start. It's kind of silly, I know it doesn't make sense, but that's what we're going to start with. All right, and then you can turn the page. And we're going to title this Lines and Angles. We're going to learn about different kinds of lines and different kinds of angles today. So the first definition is a point. A point is an exact spot in space. Now we're not talking about outer space. We're talking about the area around us. And it looks like that. The next one is a line. Now, what we're used to when we hear the word line is like a line that our class walks in, that it has a beginning point and an end point. But really, a line does not have an end point. It keeps going and going and going. It's a straight path. that goes on and on in both directions. If when you see a dot like this in geometry, it means it's a stopping point or starting point or both. If you see the arrows like this, it means that they keep going forever and ever and ever and ever. But I can't draw forever and ever and ever and ever, so I do that. Now what about the lines that stop? They are called a line segment. Segment means a piece of. So a line segment is a piece of a line. It has an end point and a start point. End point on each end. And it looks like this. So for drawing, oop, I'm going to move up. There we go, it looks like that. So our line that we walk in for school is a line segment.
a line that we draw for the side of a shape is a line segment. Now this is my favorite one and see if you guys can guess why. A ray is a part of a line that has an end point and another, the other side just keeps going and going. So I have part of a line with one end point and one side that goes on and on. It'll look like this. So those are the definitions for the lines. We have a point, which is an exact spot in space a line which has both sides going on and on and on in both directions, a line segment that has an endpoint on each end, and the ray has an endpoint on one side and the other side keeps going and going. Now, if you need to pause the notes at this point or any point during the video, you're more than welcome to. The next definition that we're going to go over are angles. A right angle is 90 degrees exactly. And you usually can tell it's 90 degrees because of this little box. Now what is an angle? An angle is where two lines meet or intersect. The word is intersect. Okay, the next one is an acute angle. It's little, so it's less than 90 degrees and it's so little, it's a cute angle. Now when I'm saying degrees, what do you mean? There's a measurement of how wide this angle is and that is measured in degrees. The total is 180, a straight line would be 180, and so that's why this is halfway to that straight line, which is 90. Half of 180 is 90. Okay, so seven is obtuse. Obtuse. Obtuse is a line intersecting another line at one point and it is more than 90 degrees. Okay. And since we're talking about two lines meeting, we're going to talk about the words intersecting lines. Which are lines that meet at one point That's why they're called intersections. When you have the crossing and the red light, it's an intersection because that's where the streets intersect. Now the next set is parallel lines. And those are lines that are the same distance apart all the way through and they will never cross paths.
there's that word again, intersect, because they're the same distance. And our last one is perpendicular. Most intersections are perpendicular. That means when they cross, they make a 90 degree angle with the lines. So it looks like this. So it's two lines. So those are the definitions for our lesson that we need to know.